Hi everyone, here's a very common problem. Imagine you have a test and you visit a page and it has a back button. And you want to press on that back button until you get to the very first page and the button is gone from the page, from the DOM. It doesn't exist anymore. Not just invisible, it doesn't exist. So how do you do that if you don't know how many times you have to click? Well, for this I've written a recurse function in the plugin called Cypress Recurse. Here's how you would use it. You say recurse and you need three parameters. The first one is a function that returns what you want to check right on the page. Well, in this case, you want to get the back button. So you'll say sci get, uh, it has an ID back. And because it might exist, might not exist, we want to disable the built in existence assertion, right? Because sci get by default checks if an element exists. If you want to say, well, it might exist, might not. You just provide an empty callback to the should. And because it's such a common thing to do nothing, you can use the bundle low dash no op function. Okay, so this is the first argument. Just get me the bot. And the second time is, what do you want to do? Right? How do you want to check? You want to keep clicking on this button until that button is no longer present, no longer exists. So whatever this function yields to you, right, will be a jQuery element, you want to say, um, you know, as long as its length is zero, right? So the first iteration, you'll get a button, it's not going to be zero, so it will go back to the first function, try to get the button again, length is still not zero. But before we go and check the button again, we want to click on it, right? So here we can do. In order for you to do some functions after you fail the predicate, but before you iterate the second time, you can do it inside the post. So in this case, we're going to grab the back button again, and we're going to click on it. And we don't want to click too fast, right? Uh, otherwise, it goes really, really quickly. We probably want to maybe delay, uh, let's say, by one second. And we probably want to limit how many... Uh, times we want to click so we don't click hundreds and thousands of times something is wrong and we probably will say you know up to 30 seconds let's say so now every second we click we get to the very first page the button is gone and we stop our iteration and we can limit all the extra logging done right now perfect now we can simplify this a little bit this predicate that tells us when to stop iteration can be written simply as low dash is empty function. So you get a jQuery object, and if it's empty, you stop iterating because you know you reach the very first page. Find more examples like this in the plugin Cypress-Recurse.